Northampton is home to one of the state's largest sustainably built neighborhood of homes. And joining me to talk about this green home boom in Northampton is Chris Mason, Energy and Sustainability Officer at the City of Northampton, John Meyercheck, Executive Director for Center for Ecotechnology, and Jonathan Wright, founder and co-owner of Wright Builders. Thank you, gentlemen, all for joining me this afternoon. So sure. I know there's three of you. We're going to get around to this topic that you guys all are involved in in Northampton. We're going to start with you, Mr. Mason. Talk about the city of Northampton. This isn't a new mm. issue that's kind of just popped on the scene in the last couple of years. You guys no. have been at it this for years. Right, right. No, um, Northampton has had what they call an energy commission since the 1980s. Um, on and off energy officer and energy commission is uh, something that only now other communities are doing it. Matter of fact, I do believe that the energy commission back in the 80s, Jonathan, was, was on that commission. Um, uh, our master plan is called the Sustainable Northampton Plan. Uh, it covers, um, uh, you know, it's covering its guiding principles of increasing energy efficiency and guiding towards renewable energy across all city sectors. Um, uh, the city has won a couple of awards for leading by example. Um, it's not new at all. It's, uh, uh, the city has been putting in places in order to support energy efficiency and renewable energy for a long time. And Jonathan, like Chris mentioned, you've been involved with this whole sustainability um, program for a while now, and this has been a part of Wright Builders for going on 40 uh, years for, for a while. Going, yes, yes. Yeah, we uh, designed and, and uh, built and developed the first solar-powered um, industrial facility in Massachusetts in 1977. And, you know, the city is a, is a great host for doing these things. Uh, private enterprise has to do their own work. but. Uh, knowing that what you're trying to do is, is uh, well received and uh, exciting on the public side is a big deal. And we work uh, uh, for a number of businesses that make it, take advantage of the kinds of programs that Chris's office uh, sponsors with CET and, and with the utilities. Mm -hmm. um, the environment has really changed though in recent years. The, the public awareness of the, the, the threats of global warming, uh, decreasing supply of fo fossil fuels, and the uh, tremendous danger to the environment of continuing to mine and, and uh, produce those resources. So um, that combined with the development of solar technology and building science that supports uh, re renewables and uh, sustainable building is, a, is kind of a, a sweet spot that's exploded on the national scene. And we're going to get into more specific projects that you guys are working on. But first, mm. John, talk about then how the Center for Ecotechnology, or SET, CET. CET. Yeah. Okay. Talk about how you guys are involved in in this circle as well, too. Sure. Well, we like to see say we make green make sense. So we help individuals and businesses either save energy or reduce waste, and we do it really by partnering with cities and businesses that get the work done. But we really focus on practical solutions that people can do, and it may be because they want to be more comfortable. It may be because they want to save money, improve their business performance, but they also really want to do something that's uh, good for the environment. How can they do that, Chris? If somebody okay. in Northampton, how does the city help provide them with those tools or resources to become more green? Okay, well, so um, directly, the city has partnered with uh, our two utilities, National Grid and Columbia Gas, and um, to do an, uh, an outreach program for businesses to help them take advantage of the rebates out there. Utilities are offering lots of money. Um, uh, right now, statewide, uh, instead of putting in new power plants, we're trying to get energy back from through energy savings. And normally when you pay, you put a new power plant in, you pay the owner of that power plant for it. Well, in Massachusetts, you pay the people who put energy efficiency in rebates um, instead. So uh, you know, we work with CET to put together a program where they have a staff person which goes out to local businesses to help them take advantage of energy efficiency improvements. Um, we've partnered with them and uh, publicity and out outreach just trying to reach out to homeowners, letting them know what options are out there. Um, and uh, the stretch code, I mean, do you guys do the HERS rating? which you do for the right builders as well. So sure. the fact that we've adopted a high efficiency building code, uh, the stretch code is a high efficiency code, part of the, the building code. Um, and then CET is instrumental in training people to do the, the, you know, the, uh, the HERS rating and the audits and stuff like that. So there's many ways where our businesses actually are, the city actually overlaps with, with CET and, and, and local builders like, 
the right, like the right bell. Oh, correct. Uh, a house. It's sort of like a cereal box. Um, you can have two boxes of breakfast cereal, mm -hmm. and if you don't look at them really closely, they're both 12 ounces, and they're both the same size box, and so on. Two houses that look roughly the same can have an energy profile that differs by 75 percent. And so one of the things that we look to do in Right Builders is to verify and document how our buildings uh, meet and exceed those standards. And that's where we turn to CET. I'm, a, I, you know, I'm, I'm the, uh, the guy who says, you know, I, I want USDA chicken. You know, I, I, want a, I don't want just good chicken. And somebody says it's good. I want the USDA thing that says it's good. Not the perfect example, because they don't look at all the chickens. These guys look at all our houses. They test them, blow our doors, examine, uh, rate them in the LEED system, the uh, uh, Energy Star program. And so they're really a, an essential part of our business. Now they can be uh, highly, I won't say critical, but they can say that, that you know, we didn't make it there. But when you test a building while it's being built, what happens is that the people building it learn how to build it. Learn right. th so there's a learning, a learning and skill development that happens there. So that's now, what's I know going. That you guys are in a in a development right now with the Village Hill, yes, and yes. so this is where you have these two different players that would come on board to help make this. I mean, Village Hill is pretty impressive. Talk about. Yeah, so we started in on that with mass development, uh, with uh, the, the first three houses and a, and a townhome a complex, uh, just as the economy was taking, you know, its full, you know, full uh, full fall nosedive, yeah. yeah. and uh, uh, we found that there was some some interest. Um, not everybody was in, in, in a panic, and um, and we found that we, when we got our product mix in the right price range that there was really keen interest in having a home that was self-sustaining mm -hmm. and that uh, you could buy it through a, a solar PV. You could never have another electric bill. Uh, and so we have people spending, you know, a few hundred dollars a year on utilities and living very comfortably because, of course, we don't seal up these buildings without providing air infiltration, uh, air exchange, fresh air. Uh, and the building science is great now. We actually can rely on the building yeah. science and the testing and the equipment. And uh, so people have never been more comfortable in right. their and homes. And, and that's, that's, that's a great thing, you know. It's right, that's what it really is. I think a lot of people want the environmental performance. They want the cost savings. But really the main benefit that you hear people talking about when they're in one of these homes uh, that Johnson builds or in, in this kind of a setting is the comfort, is the air quality. Um, the longevity of the building and how sturdy it is. Uh, it's built to last for a very long time. Those are things that add a lot of value to a homeowner other than just the immediate value of the lower electric bill. I think sometimes homeowners may think though that it'll cost them so much money that they may not be willing or not, they're not looking forward to expend. Do you guys get that kind of that hesitancy oh, right. where? But I'll, I'll put it a different way. Mm. Yeah. There's, um, right now you never buy, we, hardly anybody buys a home with cash. You always buy it with a mortgage. So you're going to have some kind of monthly payment. And a, a high efficiency home is more affordable to live in. So the combination of your mortgage and your energy bills, that combination will be lower with a high efficiency home than with an energy inefficient home. Your mortgage might be smaller, just a little bit, if you, if you don't go to that. But your energy bills are going to be so much bigger that you're spending the money anyhow. So the combination of those two, if you're gonna build low income housing, build it high efficiency because it is affordable to live in. Uh, and that's far more important than exactly what your mortgage initial payment looks like. It's, right. you know, it's your right. monthly payments that are lower. Inefficiency in, the, um, in the performance falls heavily on, most heavily on those people with moderate incomes. Mm -hmm. It does. And yeah. Just like the cost of transportation and fuel, you know, hits them hardest. Right. And it's one of the gaps, because um, the work we do is not subsidized, so it's market rate, and it, so it carries, they have to make up the cost. We have to pay market rate for the property for mass development. But um, affordable home ownership at a high performance level and um, for rental is happening around the state. There's a tremendous amount of interest in it. And uh, it's very exciting because actually those are the people who really need that security uh, of not having a three or $400 a month oil bill, but having a $40 gas bill. That's, you know, that becomes, uh, that, that's a sort of, uh, my philosophy is that home ownership and occupancy is the best uh, stabilizing influence for family life. This is what, this is what we need. You know, you've got to have some place to put your family, so. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask, um, uh, so when you build a, your, your high efficiency homes, you do get some kind of support, right? I mean, utility rebates? Yes, for, yes, yes. The, the, right. the, uh, the, the Energy Star program 
uh, yeah. provides enough cash for us to buy the rating services mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some of the money for the upgrades. So. Um, yeah, it's pretty modest, but it's enough that it makes it worth the time to go through the trouble of doing some of the documentation and, 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 and ensuring that you get a good a good performance home. And it really does make a difference. It doesn't. People aren't feeling as if it's like just a drop in the bucket, like that phrase where, oh, oh well, yeah, it really no, these, won't matter long term. These but. really make a the, the the as Jonathan was saying, the performance of these homes it can be uh, it can be seventy five percent better than than a regular home, and so. You know, we, get, we also do a lot of retrofit work through the Mass Save program where you just go in and you get some insulation in your home and that's a, a free program with incentives as well for existing homes. And the number one complaint we get from people why they call us is they're uncomfortable. It's winter time and I can't watch TV in this room because it's too cold certain times of year. It's summertime and our baby is all cranky because even though we're cranking the air conditioning, that room never seems to cool off. And those kind of things, you notice a real difference when you do this work. Yeah. Definitely, what a great outcome. Yeah. Well, such an important conversation as well too, helping the pocketbook, helping the environment, helping families. Thank you gentlemen so much for your time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Terrific, okay. thank you.